welcome to my channel all around decoupage hi i am veronica and today we're gonna do a cute highland cow christmas ornament for this project i chose plastic medallion which i then painted twice with white paint I used custom rice paper for this project. I then cut out the Highland Cow with water pen. Uh, I never cut out my images with scissors because I don't like the sharp edges. So if you don't have water pen, just use water and small brush. Then I tear up the rice paper in few places, put a little bit of decoupage glue onto the ornament itself and then I place the rice paper onto the ornament and then seal it again with some more decoupage glue. Make sure you don't have any excess of decoupage glue left because that one will dry white and not transparent. and after that let it dry after drying it is time to paint the ornament these are the paints i've chose don't be afraid to go inside the rice paper as well for better blending just have fun painting it uh, trust me i am no expert in painting itself i am just using my imagination and I go uh, do it as I go. Then after it is all painted and you are satisfied with the result, let it dry. Then I use some decoupage glitter glue to seal the ornament. Of course, you don't have to do it if you don't have glitter decoupage glue. Also here, make sure there is no excess glue on your ornament because uh, it will dry white as well. Then I applied a little bit of pouring glaze on the ornament to seal it i did apply four or, or five layers on the ornament and let it dry between each layer pretty good on the other side of the ornament i used some stems some air drying clay and some mold to put on first roll out your clay and make sure it is pretty thin before you are applying the stem otherwise it will crack up on you when it's drying then press the stem onto the clay pretty good because you will have want to have the image onto the clay then i use some express glue from pentart to put on the ornament itself then carefully i apply the clay itself on the ornament and I cut out any excess of the clay from the ornament.
On the side of the ornaments I used a mold and clay and I glue the design on the ornament with express glue from Pentart. All materials will be listed in the description down below. If I cannot find the same design, I will be listing something similar to it because some of these molds and stems I do had for a long time. I also put some bows, clay bows on the top of the ornament and some Christmas gifts to decorate the clay itself. And I glued it all with the same glue. I like to put little saying onto my ornaments as well, so I just pressed the stamp on the clay itself, making sure each letter is visible. Again, I glued it on the ornament with the same glue. Let the clay dry before painting it. So here are the paints I used. Of course you can use paints that suits your design. First I painted the, I would say, wooden part of the ornament itself. Before the brown paint was dry, I just took a wet towel and wiped off any excess of the paint. Same with the Christmas saying, I just applied black paint onto the ornament and then wipe it all off. The bows and the sides of the ornament I painted blue. If you like these kinds of tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already or give me a thumbs up or comment. If you don't want to make an ornament, you can just pop over to my Etsy shop and see what kind of ornaments I have available.
After the paints were dry, it was time to seal the clay part of the ornaments. I use matte varnish. Of course, you can use glossy one as well. All varnish should be water-based. For a little bit of glimmer shimmer, I use wax paste. Of course, this step is fully optional and you don't have to do it if you don't like wax paste or you don't have them. For a 3D effect, I use 3D decor pen from Pentart and some snow crystal pen to apply on the sides of the ornament. The red 3D pen I only used on the bow itself. The last step is to put ribbon on my ornaments. Of course, this step is also fully optional. If you don't want to hang it, your ornament with a ribbon, you don't have to do this. And here it is all finished, a cute Highland Cow Christmas ornament. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this tutorial, do give me a thumbs up or comment. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what's your favorite Christmas theme this Christmas. Until next time, bye!